he goes okay he's still here for another video and today we're going to be doing a comparison between these two phones the redmi note 10 pro max and uh, the pixel 3 yeah so yeah let's talk about the specs that you're going to need for this video right so when it comes to the processors you have this snapdragon 732g in the redmi and the snapdragon 845 in the in the pixel here when it comes to the software, you have Android 12 on the Pixel versus Android 11 on the Redmi here. And then uh, for the RAM, 4GB versus 8GB, right? Before we go ahead, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe. And if you end up liking watching the video, give me a thumbs up or Google for for that, right? So let's go ahead and uh, start off with the comparison. Yeah, let's check that we have no apps in the background of either. Right, let me first close this. So I guess we're good to go and start the speed tests. Okay, so starting off with phone, first on the pixel, contacts. That was very close. Boom. Settings, first on the pixel, edge, eye, camera. That was slightly first on the pixel, I guess. Chrome all day. Like that. So Chrome. That was very slightly faster on the pixel. Let's go. Your quality tie. GG. Fast on the pixel. YouTube. I'll let you guys change that maybe for the tie. Didn't really catch it. I was looking at the camera. <laughs> but you guys can make your own judgment. And you can see it better than I did. So Instagram. Okay, I think that was also close to the try. Tie Spotify. What's on the pizza? Kind master. Right. I'll give that to the Redmi, but as I said already, you guys are free to judge for yourself. Sometimes I'm looking at the viewfinder of the camera on here that I'm recording with, and uh, I miss the results. Yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, export a file. Let's see, we could export faster. So these two are the same files. As you can tell. The same exact file 13 MBs, 13 MBs, right? So you're going to export it. Let's delete the previous spots that we export again, right? So, one, two, three, go. Looks like the pixel exports it faster. Yeah, pixel finishes slightly faster. That regard in that comparison right there for exporting video looks like the pixel did better, but slightly though, and by a huge margin. Let's go on and move on to the games now. Starting off with KX Highway. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be very close in between them. But let's see. Okay. Pixel does take the lead. Let's see, okay. Yeah. The Pixel takes the lead in that X Highway game. Alright, so moving on to Shadow Fight 3. This usually takes a while to load. Let's see. We'll load it up first. Looks like the red is ahead. At least. Right. 
right? So the Redmi takes this one. Opens it up faster. Yeah, when it comes to Shadow Fight 3, the Redmi did better. Let's go on to this. It's gonna be the tiebreaker for the games, I guess. It's only 21. Red meat is better here <laughs> when it comes to the games. It opens up this faster. Right, so let's go ahead and uh, do the RAM management test very fast. Just going to open random maps. Okay, the pixel reloads from CZH. So it opens Sage as well. Wow. Let's see. Contact. So you're opening everything literally. Okay, so let's see GG. Pixel is re opening everything. Wow. The pixel is literally opening everything. Reopening. Reloading everything. Yep. It's like the pixel has killed every process. It was in the background. Okay, so let's open the game's pack. What's up now? Let me see. Okay, so it opens it. The red mix still has it. Okay. I expected the pixel to do better. Much as it has 4 GB RAM. But yeah, it has really restarted every game. Whereas the red mix literally has all the games. In the background, but the pixel has restarted everything. Let's see, yeah, still has this in the background at least. But the Redmi had almost every single app in the background. So yeah, when it comes to RAM management, definitely Redmi is better, without a doubt. Right, so moving on to the general comparison between these two, I'm gonna start off with the price. When it comes to the price, yeah, I said that the <laughs> pixel has the age. As in, for what you get uh, in terms of uh, value for money, bang for your buck. The pixel. the pixel almost costs whatever the, the Redmi costs three times as much as the, as the pixel literally. Yeah, but doesn't offer three times the performance, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to be that different to be honest. But yeah, when it comes to value, I'll say that the pixel is better value, surely. But moving on to the displays, so when it comes to the displays, I have Super AMOLED here 120 hertz versus AMOLED at 60 hertz, right? So yeah, the Redmi has an edge in that, in that regard. The Redmi is better when it comes to the display, but I'll tell you one thing, you guys. I'm not really <laughs> noticed the difference between 120 Hz and 60. It's not all, all that of a big deal to me, anyway. Yeah, like I don't wake up in the morning and use the Pixel after using the Redmi, and I I notice that okay, this is 60 Hz, unless I think about it. But if I'm just switching in between them, and I'm not thinking about it, I'm not going to even notice it or even think about it. Honestly, being honest with you guys, yeah. It shouldn't be a, a big deal for you, 120 hertz or 60 hertz. I feel like people make it too much of a big deal, but in my view, yeah, <laughs> it's not it's no big deal. Yeah. So yeah, talking about the displays, still the Redmi is better. Yeah. Okay, so moving on to the software experience, software experience is, uh, I'll say it's better in the whatever on the on the Pixel, you know, with the stock Android, and you know have Android Twelve here, the colored menus and the whatever. And even turn on the colored icons if you want that you can go to our um, let's see the wallpaper and the styles turn on the themed icons as they call them see that so i know what developers will keep on supporting that and yeah i prefer it to stay the way it was not a big fan of themed icons yeah when it comes to the software i'll say pixel is way better right so moving on to the battery life battery life i'll give it to the Redmi definitely Redmi has better battery life. The Pixel, I <clears throat> already had a small battery at 2,900 mAh, and you know, time has taken its toll. Battery health, I think, has dropped as well. So, yeah, when you combine those two factors, you don't expect the best battery life on the Pixel here. Right. Moving on to the cameras. So, yeah, the 
the Redmi has a better camera at the back. I have an ultra wide macro one. The main shooter it is 108 megapixels versus the 12 megapixels, the 12 megapixel. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll say that uh, the pixel has a better still. You know, when for still photography, just taking a snap, all the well with the pixel. Yeah, and for the video quality, I, I think I'll say they're about on par. But uh, one issue that I have with the the pixel that I talked about in my full review of it is the hissing noise that it has when you're recording any audio on it. So yeah, I think that will take some points from the pixel here. And uh, for that reason, I'll go with the Redmi. When, if you to record video, I'll choose the Redmi over the pixel for that reason. The microphone issues it haven't been solved over the course of three years, you know. But yeah, that's a big issue with the pixel here. When it comes to the cameras, but when it comes to the front facing cameras, yeah. Stills again, I'll say that the pixel is better and uh, in this case it brings back some points for the ultra wide at the, at the front, you know. The 0.7, yeah, ultra wide lens. Very solid stills, you know. And the video is also very good by the way, other than the hissing noise. Yeah. So that's about the video quality. So build quality, I'll say yeah, about on par. Yeah, but I, I think I love the pixel more. <laughs> because of the build quality of the phones, yeah. Who's more substantial in the hand? The pixel here. <clears throat> very good phone, very well built actually. And actually, it has an advantage of having a USB 2.1 when it comes to the ports here versus USB 2.1. Actually, I think people wonder what the difference is, but if you have USB 3.1, actually, you can access something like a hard drive, which USB 2.1 can't. Yeah. That's basically it for the comparison, guys. If you have liked what you've seen in the video, give me a thumbs up and uh, yeah. If you're new to the channel, please hit and subscribe. Be grateful for that. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video. Peace out.